Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm gonna to be talking about most known facts before you travel to Jamaica, right? Um, you're probably wondering what would make me the right person to tell you these facts, right? For those who are new here, my name is Amanda, right? I have a travel YouTube channel and I also do tours. I have a tour company and I bring persons from point A to point B for their different excursions and they, I usually get asked a lot of questions which is why I decided to do this video right and I'm gonna go in a particular order now what will I be talking about in this video so in today's video I'll be talking about things to expect at customs right probably the better hotels to book at depending on the occasion that you guys are having um, whether or not you guys should exchange your money I get a lot of those questions is there uber in Jamaica I get a lot of those questions as well um the weather what is the weather like here in jamaica <laughs> that's a frequent one as well um as well as the different excursions different stuff you can do in jamaica so i'll be going through all of that and this video will help you plan your trip better to come to jamaica it will help you understand jamaica a little bit better another popular question is should i drive should i just rent a car and drive in jamaica or should i go with a tour company and i will not be biased simply because i have my own tour company <laughs> and i offer that service so i'll be answering all of these questions before i start and get into it i answer these questions i just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has ever booked with me right whether it be an excursion or i've done an airport pick up and drop off with you i want to say thank you um to everybody who has supported me thus far it's been a little under a year since i've taken this and said i'm gonna go full with it and thus far it's been good and i thank everybody who has also been supporting my youtube channel you know i appreciate it to the fullest right so i'm just gonna show continue showing some more pictures with some persons we've been to a lot of different places horseback riding duns river fall run tour all of those different places with a lot of my guests and some of them I do consider to be lifelong friends now so again thank you also before I get into it guys my sister did my makeup check me out right there we go there we go for those who are new here and don't know my lovely sister does makeup so if it is that you're in Montego Bay whatever the occasion wedding or whatever it might be and you're looking for somebody to do your makeup then my sister's person for you. All right, I'm gonna leave her handle right here. It's gonna her name will her link will be in the description below as well. Yeah. Yo, whenever you're far with Jamaica, 876 Amanda Adventures. Look at the views, blood. Are you mad? <coughs> Only with Amanda, you know. You see me? Yeah. Okay. Now to get into it. So when you land in Jamaica, right? The first thing you come, you go through immigration. After you go through immigration. You collect your bag after you collect your bag you make your way to customs now depending on what time you land customs might take a long time for you to go through if you land early in the morning when not a lot of planes are landing that time in Jamaica, not a lot of flights are arriving then you might make it through customs easily however if you're landing like 12 1 or 2 p.m in the afternoon when that's a time that's when a lot of the flights are coming that's like rush hour then to go through customs it's going to take some time one way you can alleviate this process or fast track this process is by booking Club Mo Bay or Club Kingston, which is one of the airport premier lounge which offer this service. I will be leaving the description, the link, sorry, in the description below where you guys can book that service. So if you know you can't bother with a hassle and you know you just want to come and just they can help to assist you with that process, right? Um, also, if you know when you're leaving Jamaica, let's say you're checking out time from the hotel is 3 p.m. But your flight is 6 o'clock and you're going to have that three hour break. Then you guys can go ahead to the airport and they have a departure lounge where you can sit, lounge around and all that. I did a whole separate vlog on the airport lounge, Club Mobile and Club Kingston. Again, I'll be leaving it in the description below. So you guys can definitely check that out so you have an idea of what the lounge look like. Um, in case you guys want to book it, right? And it's relatively affordable as well. And I do suggest you guys book it. And I, like I said, the link will be in the description below, right? So after you make it through custom, the next thing you're gonna come upon is um, if you want to, the money exchange. Now, my advice, if it is that you're coming to Jamaica, right, then you don't really need to change the money, right? From the US dollars. You guys understand the US dollar? We here in Jamaica, if you're going to do any particular excursion or whatever, anything touristy, 
for lack of a better word, the price is going to be in US. <laughs> so it's best to just leave the money in the US because that's what you know you guys understand. To go from US dollars to Jamaican dollars, it can be confusing. And I guess for me, the only time I would suggest somebody actually change their money into Jamaican currency is if one, you're going to be here for a lengthy period of time. You're going to stay at an Airbnb where you're going to be going to the supermarket often to buy food. You're going to be renting a car. So you're going to be buying gas at the gas station often. You're going to be driving from point A to point B. So you're going to be using a toll often. You know, that way you can get a, you can save on your dollar. Now here in Jamaica with the US dollar, it's has a buying rate and a selling rate. What does that mean? If I have the US dollar and I'm dealing with somebody else and I want Jamaican money, I am selling my US dollar to that person, right? Now, that person who is buying the US dollar from me can either tell me, say, can either tell me that for every one dollar that I give them, the one US dollar that I give them, they'll give me back a hundred Jamaican dollars. Or for every one dollar that I give that person, they can give me back a hundred and twenty Jamaican dollar or 140 or 150 so depending on where you go you'll get a different rate and the value will vary and it can be confusing another reason is that the dollar changes every day so even right now the pound the dollar's going on with the uk with the prime minister the queen and all of that right the, you know the, the the dollar changes every day so if it's if you have the pound or if you're canadian or if you you know have um european or whatever for the most part, the US, everything is usually quoted in US. So if you can get it into US dollar, that might be better. But if you have the pound or so, and you just want to put it into Jamaican money, that's fine as well. Just giving the advice for those who want it. Because again, these are a lot of the questions that I get asked, right? Now, moving on. Okay, so I had to break out the board for you guys. This whiteboard right here shows us a beautiful map of jamaica ignore over here guys i kind of overestimate <laughs> the land but that's pretty much the only two parishes that are left so this is this is jamaica right as i was mentioning before the airport is here and here if you're coming to montego bay which is right here please try and land in montego bay don't try and land in kingston if you land in kingston you know you're gonna have to travel all the way here which would be roughly a two hour drive with no traffic with traffic two to one and a half to three hours depending on the day right so if you're coming in jamaica landing montego bay at the donald sangsters international airport okay the next thing i'm going to talk about are hotels i can tell us a hotel question you know which hotel would be best for a wedding which hotel would be best for like a birthday trip this that and the third fine i haven't been to every hotel in jamaica i've been to some i've been to a good amount and the ones that i've been to i've done reviews again you guys you can take check out my jamaica hotel vlogs playlist and it there are reviews from the different hotels and it will help you to make your decision on which hotel you want to stay at <clears throat> because montego bay is the prime tourist destination a lot of stuff will be advertised that is actually as a Montego Bay, but it's not in Montego Bay. And there's nothing I hate more than somebody not giving somewhere its rightful credit, right? Now, Royal Town Montego Bay is not in Montego Bay. It is in Falmo. This is Falmo right here, right? Now, to drive from here at the airport to Falmo, that's probably like a 45 minute drive, right? Now, People will be like, oh, I'm going to be in Montego Bay. And when you check it out, it's not Montego Bay. Falmouth will have hotels like Ocean Coral Spring, Royalton. It also has um, excellent oyster. Now, right. hotels that are actually in Montego Bay, Rio, Mobile is in Montego Bay, Hilton, Holiday Inn, Hyatt, Ibura Stars, Jewel Grand, right? There is Secret St. James, Breathless, Sandals Montego Bay, Sandals Royal Caribbean, S Hotel, Deja, the Cameron, Toby Resort. There's a wide variety to choose from that is in Montego Bay. Right. Then in the grill, you'll have Royal Town the Grill, Rio, Hedonism, right? Sandals, um, Azul, Beaches, you know. So that's Negril, which is down here. Negril is a two-hour drive 
from Montego Bay. Two hours, guys, right? From here to here is roughly 45 minutes to an hour. From Montego Bay to Ocherios is roughly two hours, two and a half hours. Now, when you go on Google Maps, it will be less, but like with the traffic, the hills and the valleys, the turns and the, the potholes and all of that, it adds up. So, yeah. And then Montego Bay to Kingston, it's a whole nother thing. To St. Elizabeth, right? So, no. Hotels for the fun and the party and the limelight, I would say Royalton, Rio, um, Hyatt is also one as well. You know, the hotels for anniversary, the couples hotels, sandals, um, excellent oyster, you know, Azul, right? Those are like the couple couples hotel. Another place where there's a lot of hotels is in Ocherius, St. Anne Ocherius. I won't lie to you, I've never stayed at a hotel. <laughs> I've never stayed at a hotel in St. Anne, so I can't really comment too much on it. But I just, I've just never stayed at a hotel in St. Anne. I know a lot of people want to know where would be the best place to get weddings done, which hotel. I get, a lot, I get that question a lot. And for those persons, I'm not the best person to comment because I've never been married. And I've actually never been to one of those hotel weddings before. But I am planning to do a vlog with the persons who can better answer those questions about the different best the how the wedding process is at the different hotels so if there's any particular question that you have or you want to be answered you can leave that in the comments below and i will ask it whenever i get there because i will be doing a vlog on that okay yeah, guys and if you're coming here for weddings and i know sometimes people do destination weddings and they will just want to do you know you're coming to jamaica might as well enjoy the island if it's just one day you have and you want to do a lot of different excursions as well I'm the perfect person we can arrange it i've done that before i've done a wedding party where you know you know they're really majority were relatively young and they're just like hey we're here in jamaica let's do one day we did atv we did zipline we did jet ski we did the luminous lagoon you know so a lot can be done in just one day if it's only the day you have again i've also had a lot of solo travelers sometimes a lot of people aren't comfortable with just males and you know they prefer female or whatever then um, I'll be there with you. 90% of the time, if I, when I have my guests, I will be there. So even if you guys are doing the excursion, sometimes you might not see me, but I am around. You know, especially with the raft, and especially if you know it's mostly females, so that they can feel safe and feel comfortable. Or at the same time, I'm not bringing you to anybody who is going to make you feel it that type of way either. But just to be sure, I'm always around. I'm always there to answer any questions as well. Okay. Next thing, the weather. I get a lot of questions about the weather. What's the weather like in Jamaica? It's sunning. The sun is always sunning, right? Also, guys, Jamaica is an island, which means we're completely surrounded by the Caribbean Sea. And the reason I'm saying this is because, you know, I'll get a lot of questions like if we can drive from Jamaica to Haiti. That's not possible, right? Jamaica is completely surrounded by water. So if we want to leave this country, we have to do it by boat or take a flight. That's just, that's just how an island works, right? Yeah, the weather, right? So for the most part, 90% of the time, it's sun, 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 and sea. But that's like, there's like 10% where we'll get some, some rainfall. And in Jamaica, it doesn't rain throughout the day, right? So um, the hurricane season is from June 1st to November 30th. A lot of people will be like, oh, when is the hurricane season? Right throughout the summer is the hurricane season, right? But you know, Jamaica is God's favorite island, and you know, we don't we haven't gotten a hurricane in a very long time, thank God. Enough on some wood, right? Um, but if it rains, then it'll rain for like an hour or two, and then it stops. For me personally, I pay attention to the weather. So if I know my clients have a particular excursion and I realize it's raining a lot, I might come out a little early, I might change up the schedule depending on what activity that you want to do just to ensure that you guys get the activity done and you know so if it's gonna rain thursday and thursday we're supposed to do the jet skis i might move jet skis up to the wednesday and so on and so forth right so for the most part it's sunny in the sun it's always hot it's a different hot than you guys are probably used to even if when it rains it's hot what i mean by that the rain falls wakes up the ground brings up the steam in the middle of the air and it's kind of like you're steaming, you know, so it's, it gets it gets humid. I personally, I'm used to it. Another frequent question is what do I consider to be cold? 
for me 70 degrees fahrenheit because you guys use fahrenheit you guys don't use celsius that's cold for me 70 71 72 degrees fahrenheit i'm cold i'm very cold so for the most part the weather the sun is sunny right next thing that i'll be talking about is transportation and excursion so this is what i mostly do i offer tours i do customized tours so if you reach out to me and say hey i'm coming to jamaica at this time or i'll say listen i do customized tours uh, you tell me whatever it is that you want to do which particular excursion or what you're interested in and i'll tell you um i'll make an itinerary and i'll present it to you i'll give you the cost for transportation the cost for the activities and then we'll move forward from there if you want to negotiate we can negotiate and so forth i understand a lot of people are traveling on a budget absolutely nothing wrong with that and i understand that for those who really don't know what it is that they want to do in Mobe, again i have a whole video called things to do in montego bay also i have one that is called things to do in the grill i'm gonna do one for ultra reels it's coming soon i don't know when but it's gonna come soon <laughs> So you guys can watch those videos again it'll be in the description below um as i mentioned before the rafting definitely recommend some other not so popular stuff that you guys can try even if you come to jamaica and it's you know it might rain a little bit there's other indoor stuff you can do there's the Aquaton Roma state tour it's a little far though it's down here right and just to get from here to here it can be like two hours um but i definitely recommend that tour it's really nice it's a unique experience the different museums like the bob marley museum there's a museum in montego bay as well the national west gallery museum i love bringing persons to the museum so that they can learn about the jamaican history jamaican culture and all of that so yeah most people come here for the atv the parties and the zip lining and all of that but like the different museum the different rum tours and stuff like that i like that as well i also have a vlog that is a street food um, I don't necessarily have a street food tour, but I love to let people learn the different foods in Jamaica. I mean, not just the jerk chicken and the patties. It's very nice, but there's so much more other stuff we can try, we can taste. Like the crab, and the, our crab is different from your crab. It's like blue crab. You know, we can try the pepper shrimp, we can try the pudding, we can try the chicken food, we can try the pork, we can try the turkey neck, the pig's tail, you know. <laughs> I could go on and on because I really love food. So, you know, I'll do street food with different persons. And again, um, I've even done other videos just so you guys can see what that might look like. Again, we just leave all of these different links in the description below. So that's one option as well. All I'm saying to you guys is, you know, there's a wide variety of different stuff we can definitely do here in Jamaica, right? The Luminous Lagoon, that's another popular one. What I will say about the Luminous Lagoon, when I say the Luminous Lagoon, I mean the glistening water, the water that turns blue. Um, some persons will say that when they go, it did not light up, so forth. Now, if it's a rainy time in Jamaica, then when you go out in the lagoon, it might not glow. But at the same time, depending on where you go, because there's different establishments that have sections to the luminous lagoon, then they will tell you that, listen, we can't do the tour because when you go there, you won't see anything. And, you know, I know you guys are here to see, but... For the majority of the time once it's bright and sunny it will definitely go and that's something that i'd also recommend that you guys would want to try right one of the popular ones are probably like don's river now don's river is not the only waterfall in jamaica right don's river is here i know it's popular it's not the only waterfall if you tell me that you want to go to a particular waterfall if you don't want to do the long drive in and you want something closer i'll find something closer i have a whole video on the different waterfalls as well and sometimes it does when you guys go there depending on the day especially if it's a cruise ship day just to go in to pay for the excursion it's it's a long line it's a long way it's there the outside their process it's tedious and they kind of need to improve on that in terms of how many persons. If you're a local going to Dunge River and you're going there to pay the local price, walk with an ID. They need to see a physical ID for them to give you that local price, right? So I know Dunge River is popular, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. But just have that in your mind. Just be prepared about that. Rafting. Love rafting. I recommend everybody do rafting while they're here. It's very nice, very calm, very peaceful. And sometimes you'll go and do the rafting and it's bright and sunny and beautiful but the water might be murky right now how can i know if the water is going to murky sometimes i don't know right it might be beautiful today it rains heavily in these parishes and then by the time tomorrow morning 
it's murky. The water might be high, the water might be low. That's how rivers are. The rivers clean themselves. And that's what I love about rivers. There's this, this wide variation, better than a beach where it's just sun, salt, and sand. All right? So, and even if the water is murky, the whole experience of rafting in and of itself is still a nice experience, right? So, there's that. Um, um, again, you know, so ATV, I'm just going to go a list of some of the different stuff you can do here. ATV or four wheeler, zip lining, horseback riding, the catamaran party boat cruise. There is waterfalls, there's luminous lagoons, there's rafting, there is the Appleton Roman State Tour, the Bob Marley Museum, the regular museum, the beaches, the parties, <laughs> you know, the street food. You know, there's a whole list of different stuff that you guys can do here in Jamaica, right? The like unique thing like feeding the hummingbird, the hummingbirds, that's one of the, that's our national bird as well, you know? So a lot of different stuff. So the excursions, right? What a lot of people need to understand is that to some of these places are a little bit far. Now in America, you guys have these four lane roads or three lanes or whatever used to this long highway. And you know, you just go on the I-95 or High 100, whatever you call it. And you, you know, a 30 minute drive every day for some of you guys, it's nothing. A 30, 45 minutes drive, come and like it, nothing. In Jamaica, if it's not on the highway, a 30 or 45 minute drive, when you look on Google Maps, might be longer. It'll be longer because we have a lot of hills, not necessarily mountains, guys. We have a lot of hills in Jamaica and you have to go around a lot of corners, a lot of corners, a lot of potholes, a lot of... So that takes some time and it's a lot of wear and tear on the vehicle. So, you know, just understand. And I always try to explain to some persons that, listen, it's far, you know, so... A lot of people always want to go to the Bob Marley Museum. There's three. There's one in this parish, there's one in this parish, and one further on this. Now, if you're here to go all the way here, it's a long drive. If you're here, which is Negril, this is Negril around here. A lot of people stay in Negril. Let me pause. Where most people would stay is Negril, Montego Bay, Ocherius, or Falmouth. Now, if you're here in Negril and you want to go to the Bob Marley Museum, it's here in Kingston. That's a four hour drive one way, right? If you're here in Montego Bay and you want to go to Kingston to the Bob Marley Museum, it's a two and a half hour drive one way, plus we have to go through the toll. So it's, it's not like it's impossible. Anything is possible. <laughs> we live in a day and age where anything is possible. Now, I just want you guys to understand the distance between some of these stuff, right? And you know, for a lot of people, the, the windy roads, going around the hills and the valleys and so forth. Yeah, guys, pack some gravel or diamond hydrates, you know, to help with the nausea. You know, I'll suggest that you guys pack those. Another other essentials that you should have, mosquito repellent, sunscreen, towels when you're going anywhere, water shoes, the waterproof case that you can put around your neck to put your phone in. You know, these are just some stuff you guys can come to come ahead of time with. So you have, right? You're going to need them. Right, now, you know, because, I mean, you come to Jamaica 90% of the time, you're going to do something involving water, right? Um, another thing, a lot of people ask me, how many persons you can accommodate for your tours? Or have you ever done a big group? Listen, it doesn't matter the number to me. Reach out to me, let me know, and we can discuss. I have two buses, um, so, and these are the videos for the vehicle that you'll be in, so you guys have an idea. And, you know, whatever the number might be, <laughs> It's not too much for me. And like I said, if you reach out to me, um, guys, for my bookings per se, I normally tell persons to send me a DM on Instagram. Again, the link will be in the description below. I am working on the website. It's coming soon, right? I'll also leave that link in the description below. Um, it's not complete as it, and I don't like to put out something that is not proper. So I'm working on a website where you guys can just go and book this excursion and meet right there, simple and um, easily. So I'm working on that. So just bear with me and you guys will see it soon, right? Another place where a lot of us love to go is Chaka, right? Now at Chaka, you can do the ATV, zip line, horseback, you know, catamaran, you can do all of those stuff. And you know, if you're gonna be here for a day and just wanna get everything done, you can do that. But what you guys need to understand is with Chaka is that between each activity, there's at least a 45 to uh, and one hour wait. So if it is you're going there just to do the horseback riding and the ATV, right? After you've done the horseback riding, and then 
you know, you do your you linger, linger. It's a 45 minutes to one hour wait, and then you go on to the ATV. If you're somebody that you know you can't be bothered with that, then chocolate might not be for you. Normally, when persons do truck and I do provide transportation to go there, I usually try and see how I can fast track them so that they can get the activities as quickly as possible out of the way. Normally, they have provide pickup depending on the hotel that you're staying at. But if you're staying at a particular Airbnb, they won't necessarily provide transportation, uh, transportation, and therefore you will need to find your own transportation, aka me. No. Another thing to note, guys, are the tour restrictions, aka the weight limit. So for horseback, it's two hundred and thirty pounds. That's the maximum weight. For zipline, it's two hundred and sixty-five pounds, and for ATV, it's three hundred pounds. And they have a scale that they definitely weigh people on prior to the activities so if you're close to those weight don't go and book the excursion because they won't allow you guys to go and they won't necessarily refund you guys another thing is that when you guys book online there is the waivers you guys need to sign the waivers ahead of time again i'll be leaving a link in the description below on how you guys can go ahead and book the excursions as well as you guys can check out a vlog that i did on chukka and another thing sometimes with the when the pickup for chukka it's a shuttle bus so they will might tell you to wake up at 7 a.m for the pickup that's because you won't reach there until probably 9 a.m because it's a shuttle bus and that's how shuttles work all right okay so with chukka certain activities are only done in certain places so chukka will be advertised as montica bay but guess what guys it's in sandy bay the good thing is that Sandy Bay isn't that far of a drive from Montego Bay. So there's a drive to come here, right? So the trucker that's advertised as Montego Bay is really in this part, Hanover, in Sandy Bay. Now, other truckers are in Ochi as well as Trelawney. Like I said, for majority of the excursion, this is where you guys will be. Just here, right? And maybe some of them here. Now, Again, if you guys want to book Chukka, I'll leave a link below so you guys can book Chukka. I mean, there's, there's tend to be sometimes a lot of confusion um, with the website and how to book some of the different activities because they have different names. So if it is that you want to do ATV, it's going to say motorized plus something else. So it's going to say ocean double outpost plus something else. So if you're not going to do the ATV, it's just going to say ocean double outpost and vice versa so once there's motorized that includes the atv sometimes if you get a little they don't really understand the website i'm gonna see if i can do a screen recording so you guys can understand the step-by-step -step of how to book on it again just reach out the link will be in the description below i am very big on supporting the um the locals i would always say jamaica should be for jamaicans as a popular saying i will ask the question well will when will jamaica be for jamaicans no guys i'm very big on supporting local so if you are which is why i even do the street food because when we do the street food you know it's a local vendor that i'm going to and it you know it supports them also whenever you guys tell me you want to do shopping i'll bring you guys down in the craft market and if you have maybe not me or whosoever a bus driver just tell them that you would like to go to the craft market um the craft market has small different different shops I wouldn't say it's like a flea market. It's different from that, but you guys understand what a flea market is. You can go into the different different shops. So you guys will have a wide variety, a lot of different options for whatever it is you want. So you go there and you guys can see and you choose and support and you will definitely be supporting a local craft market that I usually go to is Harbor Street Craft Market. There's adequate parking and it's good, it's right to the town. So normally I do like the shopping and I'll do like a street food right after whether with my guests if it is that they would like to try some of the street food um and these are just some clips of how the craft market look a lot of good talent in there you have persons who you know they have the carvings and the paintings and there's this one guy that does art and it's just beautiful like he should be getting more recognition than what he is a lot of talented people right here in jamaica trust me when i say that a lot of talented people and i'm doing this so that we can so we can put jamaica on the map and we can show everybody the different parts and the wide variety that we do have right here in jamaica so that's 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 my if you ask me to go shopping i'm gonna bring it to the craft market once it's close by depending on where we are i'm gonna bring it to a craft market also next is tips um here you're not forced to tip anybody who wouldn't appreciate a tip it's extra money <laughs> of course you're gonna appreciate a tip 
um but you're not forced to tip anyone but we do appreciate if you do tip some people uh, people will ask me what's a good tip whatever you feel like giving whatever your heart desires to give that's a good tip right so um you know a lot of people would ask me that question for the most part like in the hotels a lot of people don't know but minimum wage in jamaica when you convert it to us dollars is 250 dollars a month right or a little under that less than that to be honest 250 us dollars a month that's what minimum wage is so you see a lot of them kind of leaning towards you tipping them that's because that's kind of where they will make most of their money and you know the cost of living down here is expensive i'm not gonna lie to you so you know that's all i have to say about that right oh another thing like always put touch on the street food kfc a lot of people want to know should we try kfc i'm not biased and jamaica kfc is the best kfc it's, it's a known fact it's just different from kfc elsewhere i don't think kfc is a proper popular um franchise in america but it's popular right here in jamaica um so definitely definitely try the kfc my thing with kfc is that it's always the lines are always long the customer service is not the best you know it, sometimes depending on which kfc you go it might take up to two hours depending on the time of the day i'm not going to kfc on a friday with you guys you tell me you want kfc i'm not going on a friday i'm not it's just a no for me i'm i'm mm -mm. I have a patience. It's just too long. <laughs> and now the time that it's gonna spend to get the KFC. We have a delivery service like what you guys have Uber Eats. We have Hugo delivery. When you get in Jamaica, if you want to try and order it on Hugo, they'll deliver it to you, right? That's an option. Um, so just know that the time and I for me, my favorite thing is the Zinger sandwich, or you guys can try the Zinger box. The wings are good. One of the main difference between KFC here and elsewhere is that we have barbecue chicken. And it's not barbecue sauce, it's barbecue chicken. I don't think anywhere, well, I can't speak for everywhere because I haven't been everywhere in the world, but I think that's a difference. Hey guys, subscribe, you know, I really appreciate the support thus far. Thank you for making me reach 5K, right? The goal is 10K and above right so i can only get there with you guys support so like share turn on post notifications you know share this video with your friend if you're going on a trip with a friend and for that one person who's watching this now and you're the one who's planning the group trip just know that you're doing a very good job i've been there it's not easy especially if it's a large group take a deep breath just know you're doing a very good job i want to also give a special shout out to my family for supporting to my sister if, again if you don't see me sometimes i'll send my sister some of my guests have already met my sister so i want to give a thank you my sister my brothers uh, my parents my cousins book up big up yourself you know and everybody that's always supported me another question i get asked is there uber in jamaica no they recently came to jamaica and they tried it i don't know it's still there but it's only in kingston again it's only in kingston kingston is the capital of jamaica it's the city so everything that's anything that's of importance will be in Kingston first before it goes anywhere. It's only in Kingston. I don't even know if it's doing well, but it's only in Kingston. So, and majority of the time you guys come here, this is where you're gonna be. These parishes right here, any excursion you have to do would be from here to here. So there's no Uber here, right? Ooh, a very frequent question. Should I rent a car while I'm in Jamaica or should I just use a tour company or you know, just drive? If you're gonna be here for a long period of time, like over a week or two, then you can rent a car. In Jamaica, this was one of the first lessons my dad, my dad taught me when he was teaching me how to drive. The first thing he said to me was, in Jamaica, we drive on the left side of the road, right? We drive on the left side of the road, the steering wheel is on the right side. A lot of people are gonna come in the car, you're gonna be shocked, they won't get used to it drive on the left side of the road if you're not used to driving on the left side of the road i don't recommend you rent a car down here in jamaica jamaicans are are naturally aggressive drivers um so you know when you're on the road you know they they don't we're not afraid to blow our horns you know they let you know <laughs> so you know a lot of people can't necessarily deal with that i remember somebody telling me that they rented a car once and they went down in town and you know when they were in the town they just because of how it was they started crying so they just brought back the car to the rental area right now 
a lot of these things that i'm gonna say right now i actually never noticed until i started bringing people from point a to point b and they're the ones that pointed it out to me um because for me i've lived here all my life so i'm used to it and like my dad always said used to is a hell of a thing so the lines there's not always lines on the road sometimes the lines are there but they need to be painted over so you'll wonder if this is a double lane road majority of the time it's a two lane road one up one down you might see the roads and they look narrow it's a two two way road one up one down right the lines you might always always have lines the roads should have reflectors because there's no lights on a good amount of the main roads except for kingston and montego bay um so if you're driving at night it gets pretty dark if you have astigmatism that might be an issue for you and the reflectors aren't on all of the roads so it might be hard to decipher the lanes and so on and so forth so that might be a challenge the signs again somebody was pointing out to me that we don't have any road names a good amount of the roads don't really have road names with we, we, you know road signs in terms of we'll have signs like stop no u-turn here no this and no that the speed limit we have those signs however you know, in Jamaica, I was a bush <laughs> and the tree kind of overgrow on some of them. I know where these signs are. I'm used to it. But for somebody who's just here coming here to Jamaica, you might miss those signs. Right. So just those little things that make it be, might be a little bit difficult. Right. Here in Jamaica, we have a lot of potholes, potholes on top of potholes on top of potholes. Driving in Jamaica, depending on where you're going, is just trying to decide which pothole to go into right which pothole is the more shallow pothole right so you have a lot of that parking you know we parking is a big issue depending on where you go you know we'll literally park on the side of the road we'll park on the sidewalk we'll find parking where there's no parking people will stop in the middle of the road you know if you can't handle all of that don't rent a car right just don't rent a car um again if we're gonna go into the gas station then change your money into jamaican if you're traveling from here to go anywhere up here in kingston this is kingston guys this little thing right here this is this this thing this is kingston this and this alone is kingston uh, oh i forgot to mention you might see these demarcations so in america you guys have states in jamaica we have parishes so all of these divisions right here are the different parishes that jamaica is divided into and jamaica has 14 parishes right so if you're going to go from here, and Montego Bay is the capital of St. James, so the parish is called St. James. So if you're going to go from Montego Bay to Kingston, anytime you reach around here, there's toll. You're going to have to pay the toll. When you're going on the toll, ensure you have cash. They don't do card. I know a lot of foreigners, you guys have the credit cards, cash app, Venmo, Zelle, all of that. PayPal, cool. That's fine. No issue. That's, that, that's nice that you guys... You know, you guys, that's what you guys are used to. In Jamaica, the average person won't have cash up, they won't have Zelle, they won't have Venmo. And sometimes they'll have the card machine, the card machine don't work. So it just makes sense for you to have some amount of cash on you, right? For me, if it is, a, I'll tell the person beforehand that, listen, if you don't have cash, we can start at, stop at an ATM that does dispense US dollars, right? Um, so, yeah, if you're going to drive in Jamaica, just make sure you have cash. That's, that's a just make sure you have cash right and guys if you're coming to jamaica tell your banks that you're coming to jamaica because a lot of you guys want to use a credit card want to use the cash or whatever let the banks know let the banks know ahead of time say hey listen i'm traveling to jamaica for this period of time from here to here so that there's no stop orders whatever they do or they don't freeze the money or whatever when you guys are trying to purchase something with your credit card and if you rent a car and you're using gps to get from point a to point b um, Google Maps have a tendency of dropping you in the middle of nowhere and telling you that you've reached your destination. 90% of the time, you're pretty close, so you have to wind down your window, find somebody and just say, hey, where is so, so, and so, and they'll, you know, they'll assist you. They'll tell you to look out for an archi tree or some form of tree. That's how Jamaicans give directions, and they'll tell you where you are. Right? So a lot of people will ask me, are there fast lanes? Are there slow lanes? Are there truck lanes? We don't have that. We just have two lanes. And you might see people overtake a lot in Jamaica. Um, there are broken lines, right? And once there's a broken line, people will tend to overtake if there's, you know, any delay and so forth. Sometimes there should be just two lanes. Sometimes people make three lanes. But, you know, that's what driving in Jamaica is like. Another thing, guys, right? Don't be afraid 
to double text me. Sometimes I see the message, it's not that I, and then I get distracted. Or maybe I get a phone call, maybe somebody's talking to me. Another time I might be driving and so on. So don't be afraid to double text me. You guys can email me as well. I really like email. <laughs> I do a response for the most part it's me and me alone i'm the one that you know does the booking does the tours and i do these videos i edit them every vlog that you've ever watched i'm the one that's the one that's holding the camera i'm the one that sometimes in front of the camera will ask somebody to hold the camera for me i do the editing i book the tours i plan the excursions and all of that so um but yeah but if you know anybody out there that does editing um here in jamaica of course preferably montego bay or you know somebody that's good at marketing or anything like that i would definitely don't mind you guys you know just let them comment below or send me a dm as well because i'm i'm growing and i'm trying to expand and grow and i'm closing now guys again this is jamaica we have 14 parishes right the capital of st james that's the name of the parish is montego bay and this is where most of you guys will be there's trelawney the capital is farmer we have some good amount of hotels here as well jamaica black green and gold this is gold fun fact jamaica is the only country that the colors of the flag does not have red white or blue in it every other country in the world for their flag has either red white or blue in it so i mean jamaica in general we're just a we're just unique we look about with talawa we're all know, well known everybody wants to be jamaican and don't you know, I, I ain't arguing with nobody about this. Everybody wants to be Jamaican. Everybody always have some grandma or some great grandma that was Jamaican, you know, the diaspora out there. And guess what? We claim you guys. We claim you guys. If you do an ancestry test and it says that you're 2% Jamaican, we claim you. It's okay. Come down here. Come down, come back home to the yard and come have a little food with a little curry goat and a little manish water and all of them something there. And we'll vibe our meal girl all of that. <laughs> right? But guys, that's pretty much it. I hope this was useful. You know, hit me up, send me a DM, check out all of my other vlogs, share this video, turn on post notifications for those, especially for those persons who are waiting for the wedding video, it's coming. And thank you for watching this video if you've made it to the end. And I do hope this video was helpful to you in order for you to plan your vacation. And if there's any questions that you guys have, if there's something that I never touched on that I probably should have touched on, then comment below. Let me know, I'll answer the question. Maybe maybe there's a part two that I might need to do or maybe not, but comment below and I'll answer it as best as I can. Again, guys, and thank you so much for, again, for those who have supported me thus far, a special thank you to you for booking with me. Um, I'm doing this. I am. So when you come and you book with me, you'll be supporting a black owned business that is owned by a black woman right here in Jamaica. And I'm telling you the tour, the tour company, the tour industry, it's mostly male dominated, but I'm breaking that. <laughs> I'm breaking that down. Towards check out all of my other videos so you can have see the different variety of stuff you can do, things to do in Jamaica, in Nigril, in all of those different places. Um check out my different hotel vlogs. So it can probably help you to make your decision. I have vlogs on different waterfalls as well. And then uh, there's other other vlogs and some of the different crazy stuff that I do in my spare time here in jamaica and i've also traveled to other places and i've done vlogs like things to do in costa rica things to do in mexico so you guys can check out those going to bahamas on a budget and all of those but before you do that you guys should definitely come to jamaica hit me up and send me a dm and we can work together all right i'm just gonna play some reviews for a few of my clients decided to do some videos for me just to express how they truly feel and i really appreciate that so i'm gonna leave the reviews right here and when the website is up and running then you guys will see some of the other reviews as well jamaica 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 if you are going to jamaica oh my god i strongly advise you to book amanda's 876 adventures if you would like to experience jamaica outside of the resort and have some fun doing so so how I came across Amanda's page was my boyfriend and I were spending quite a few days in Jamaica last month and I wanted to know what could we do off the resort. Had no idea how to go about it and came across Amanda's 876 Adventures on YouTube and I looked at every single video she ever posted. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I stalked it just a little bit. But anyway... Um, Amanda is so beautiful inside and out. She came and picked us up. Well, I hit her up on Instagram, you know, let her know what dates we're going to be there. Let her know what we wanted to do. She gave me her prices. Oh, my God, her prices are so reasonable for the whole day. She took us on all of our excursions. She took us to get some amazing, authentic Jamaican food. Even the conversation in the car, like we talked about 
everything everything under the sun like she's so sweet and so kind and my boyfriend and i had a really good time and we agreed well i agree that agreed that we were going to go to jamaica every single year for the rest of our life and we will definitely book amanda's 876 adventures oh my god and hi samantha her sister of samantha is absolutely amazing they look just alike and they sound like two, two beautiful women thank you so much for taking my honey and I to the places that we wanted to go to. We really appreciate you both. We had a great time. We still talk about y'all still to this day. Be blessed to the both of you and be safe. One love. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I'm currently in Jamaica. It was my first time here. Bought me and my mom and my aunt um, to visit Jamaica. And we had a personal tour guide. Her name is Amanda. She is from 876 Adventures. She has a YouTube channel, Instagram. You gotta check her out. This girl was amazing. She was the best. I mean, she really, really showed us a real good time. If you've been thinking about it, think no more. Book this girl. And I'm not just saying this just because um, I found her on YouTube. I booked her and Everything I saw, she was more in person. She is amazing. She has an awesome personality. Booker, don't think, don't think twice. Booker, you will not regret it. Hey guys, this is Sasha and Justin, and we are here to let you know if you go to Jamaica, it is an absolute must that you book with Amanda eight seven six. She took us to Wise Falls, get these great souvenirs. She also took us to Rick's Cafe, as well as a great food tour of Jamaican authentic food. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Book with Amanda eight seven six. It's very fun. You no, know, there's broken lines. And that, sorry, Caribbean, <laughs> Jamaica is the only country. We claim you, if you. It's actually in Falmouth. And then there's hotels in. Right, so we're packing swimsuits, we're packing light, we're not packing a lot of clothes. I carry on when I try. Baby, baby. Yes. 